Hello everyone! Hope your day is going well. Let's do another read aloud today. So today's read aloud is Pigeon Math. This book was actually a gift from my class for Teacher Appreciation Week, so just want to say thank you to my class for this wonderful book. So thanks Thunder Cheetahs. Love you. Miss you. So this book, I'm really excited for it. I read through it. Um, it's a very fun, silly book, and it also has math in it a little bit, which is always cool. So let's read Pigeon Math by Asia Citro, and it's illustrated by Richard Watson. Let's see. One bright and sunny morning, 10 pigeons... Hey, wait. Uh -oh. Well, they're gone. Okay, let's try that again. Um, 10 minus 6 is... Hmm, what's 10 minus 6, do you know? How many pigeons are left here? Four. As I was saying, one bright and sunny morning, four pigeons. <gasps> Oh bother. So four plus four is, what, how many pigeons are there now? What do you think? Eight. <clears throat> one bright and, I mean one gray and cloudy morning, eight pigeons. <gasps> oh no, it's raining now. Honestly, pigeons, sigh. Let's see, eight minus six is two. Okay, so one gray and rainy morning, two resourceful pigeons. Oh, what do you think's gonna happen next? Let's see. Ack, blurg, arg, not again. I'm never going to make it to the end of this story if I can't even get past the first sentence. Oh, okay, so two plus five is seven. Where were we? All oh, right, one bright and sunny um afternoon, seven pigeons and one cat. Uh-oh, one cat? Ugh, guys. Uh-oh, what do you think will happen next now that there's a cat there? Let's see. Oh, <gasps> more pigeons. This seems like a bad idea. But okay, seven plus two is nine. One gulp, bright and sunny afternoon, nine pigeons and one cat. Um, one cat? Wait a minute, what are they doing? Minus one cat. <laughs> one bright and sunny and er, slightly windy afternoon. Nine pigeons and zero cats. <gasps> oh no, it's windy. No! I give up. Yeah, I'll sing some pigeon words. Nope, you can't change my mind. This will never work. <sighs> oh. Yes, I see that you are very funny, but it's no use. It's practically pigeon bedtime. More pigeon words. Three plus seven equals what? Oh, you do make a good point. I suppose I could at least end the story. Okay, in that case, um, three plus seven is... 10. One warm and sparkly evening, 10 pigeons snuggled together after a particularly busy day and went to sleep. The end. <gasps> Oh no, I woke them up. Oh gosh, sorry. I mean, 
the end. Good night, pigeons. All right, that's the end of pigeon math. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story. You know, it's always fun to find math in storybooks and this one has a lot of it. So I hope you, you know, got your math brain working a little bit too for the story. And yeah, I miss all of you first graders and I hope you're all doing well and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.